Good. Keep the chin down. Drive the top hand. Good. Make sure that top hand's getting to extension. Good. Stay balanced and drive. Fix the barrel. Drive that top hand. Let's go. Good. Stay back and drive the top hand. So you feel how your hands are working across your front hip, right? We talk about that in games, right? If, our, if my hands and my barrel are working across my front hip, what does that mean? That my barrel's doing what? It's working in and out of the zone, right? So I'm gonna be very susceptible to pitches out here. That means I'm not gonna be able to get to pitches on the outer half of the plate or off speed, right? Because if my barrel does this and is very quick to come out of the zone, I have no chance at being able to stay on pitches out here. Does that make sense? So we have to be able to keep our barrel working in the zone as long as possible and through contact, not across contact. Got it? Stay balanced and drive. Good. Keep your barrel in the zone. Three more, Logan. Good. Keep on working those hands back. Good. Last one. One more. Fix the barrel. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Right there, right there. You did a full 360. Good, switch. Balance and explode. Good, make sure we're not going that way though, with your front hip. Stay close and go. So where's your eyes at? Keep your head here. Chin down and go. Watch. So it can't be, go, load. It can't be here. Right, our trigger needs to be here. That means that when we're firing, everything is out, correct? This is taking over our swing. We need to make sure our backside is our trigger. So that means that when I land, I wanna feel this be what engages my swing. Make sense? So I wanna keep that load in the back hip and explode from there. Got it? And that barrel, hands back and explode. Go ahead, keep your hands back, you gotta let it get there. You're going too early. Go ahead, a little bit later. Let it get there. Good. Stay closed and go. Keep those hands inside. Watch your feet. Ready? Hands back and drive. Good. Hands back, chin down. Very nice. Stay back and explode. Good. Three. Too quick out of the zone, right? Too quick to go. Let the ball get there. Good. Last one. Let the ball get there. Balance. Too fast. Let's go. Find your balance and control. You're rushing your swing. Stay balanced and drive. Good. Pick them. Guys, why do we use a flat bat, you think? Why do you think we use a flat bat? It's going to help us become instant and short and quick to the baseball, okay? The whole point of the flat bat is for we learn how to keep our barrel in the zone as long as possible and maintain our direction, right? For a lot of my guys, I like to use our chest first. So when we use our chest first, like I was telling some guys, or my chest and my front shoulder, it's pretty much the same thing. Got it? So when I use my front shoulder, you hear coach say you're pulling out, that means you're most likely using your upper half first. Does that make sense? We have to use and make sure we're driving our back half first. So when I turn here, when I land, the flat bat's gonna allow me to feel when I come forward with my hands, as some guys saw, what happens with our swing. I'm very quick in and out of the zone. My barrel cuts across my body too fast, right? When I, can, when I stay too far back here, I'm going to start to dump my barrel. That's why we have to make sure we're finding the middle and creating a nice short turn from there to contact. So we want to be short to contact and then long through contact. Got it? So we keep our barrel in the zone as long as possible. Does that make sense? If I lose my direction early, what does that mean? That when I'm going through my load, if my body starts to go away from the pitcher, my hands work away. The flat bat will tell us when we're losing our connection super early. Does that make sense?